Guru Devo Maheshwara, Guru Sakshat Param Brahma Tasmai Shri Gurve Nama. Our goal for this conference is simple. It is to create heaven on earth in Nepal. Ram Raj in Nepal. And as Maharshi liked to say, I like to make the difficult things simple. And Maharshi has made it simple for us. All that is necessary is for us individually to do less and accomplish more. What does that mean? Transcend. Twice a day, transcend. By transcending, you are enlivening Veda. Because Veda exists in Parme Vyoman, the transcendental field of life within us. Our human physiology is a reflection of Ved in the Vedic literature. And when we transcend, we enliven that. And through this doing less every day, morning and evening, we will accomplish this Herculean task of creating heaven on earth. But to summarize, I would like to see the realization of the whole 12 point action plan that Deepak Baskoda has outlined, but bring particular focus to certain areas that have been presented today. Education. We must educate our youth to unfold Veda within them through consciousness-based education that includes the practice of transcendental meditation in the curriculum of every school in Nepal. Our healthcare system must be prevention-oriented healthcare to utilize, utilize Vedic healthcare, the practice of Ayurveda through education. So all of starting with the mothers, that they're educating their children how to be, be healthy, to not fall sick. This is through the full implementation of the educational aspects of Ayurveda. In the field of agriculture, we must become a totally organic and Vedic organic country. This will set Nepal above all the other countries of the world. It'll bring a unique quality in instantly. Nepal is an agricultural company, a country. 80% of the industry is agriculture. If you want to be unique in the world, make it Vedic organic agriculture. People will be flocking to buy the products from Nepal if we establish this principle in our country of Nepal, that it is totally Vedic and Vedic organic. In the field of architecture, we must fully implement Vastu Vidya in the field of architecture. The government should make a policy right away that all new construction, the building code is that the buildings are built on the north-south, east-west grid with east entrance or north entrance. Through this one act, the government can create heavenly life on earth because the buildings that we live in have a very powerful influence on our awareness, on our development of our bodies and minds. So Vastu Vidya must be the standard of Nepal. In the field of defense, we must very quickly establish a group of 1,000 practitioners of the TM and TM City program within the military or the police. This will ensure the invincibility of Nepal it will protect Nepal. It will create a Vasya Kavach. No harm can come to Nepal through the group dynamics 
for the practice of the TM and TM City program. Our government and the administration of our country, we should establish a group specifically dedicated to creating an influence of coherence for our government of, again, at least a 1,000 practitioners of the TM and TM City program. This will make all of the actions of our government in alliance with natural law. Maharshi says in his absolute theory of government that government is the innocent reflection of the collective consciousness of the people. He uses an analogy. He says, you see the hand writing, but it is not the hand that is writing. It is the mind guiding the hand. Like this, government is the hand of the collective consciousness of the people. If we expand and relieve the stress in the collective consciousness, spontaneously our government will act in an enlightened and evolutionary way. In the field of religion and culture, we should recognize all the diversity in every religion and every cultural tradition here in Nepal. They are all great. They are like the beautiful flowers in a garden. But for all of the flowers to be harmoniously nourished and enlivened, they have to be connected to the source, the field of pure intelligence, the unified field of natural law. All of the different cultural values will blossom when all those within the different cultures connect to that field of life that unifies us all, the field of consciousness deep within each and every individual on earth. So my son Kulp, my intention, as Deepak Baskota has said, in the next five years, let's create a model for the world of how a relatively poor country can rise to be the richest country in the world, rich not only materially, but also spiritually. <laughs> Maharshi always, when he looked at Nepal, thought of it as the richest country in the world because it was rich in this Vedic knowledge. But we should also, Maharshi said, we should have 200% of life. 100% material, 100% spiritual. And this can be done by unfolding the full creativity of the people of Nepal. And we have the easy technologies to do that. And I encourage each and every one of you who, ha who hasn't already begun the, having the experience of transcending to begin the practice of bhavati dhyan, transcendental meditation, right away and to have all of your friends begin as well. And this will begin the process of creating heaven on earth, Ram Raj, for here in Nepal and through Nepal to the world and fulfill Maharshi's statement about Nepal when he was here. Nepal to lead the world. Jay Gurudev. Thank you very much, Raja Kingsley. सोर्गमा धर्दीमा सोर्ग को अवतरण कम गरेर बड़ी प्राप्त त्यो भावातीत भएर प्राप्त गर्ने माध्यम विधि महर्षिज का बार बुधे कार्यक्रमहरू कार्यन को लागि हममी प्रतिबद्ध रहनु पर्ने सन्दर्व फरक फरक विदाहरू जस्तै शिक्षामा सबै विद्यालयहरूमा भावती ध्यान को प्रयोग अथवा उपयोग रोकथाम उन्मुख वैदिक स्वास्थ्य वैदिक स्वास्थ्य शिक्षा अझै त्यसमा पनि आयुर्वेदमा जोड दिँदै कृषि पूर्ण वैदिक र प्राङ्गारिक मुलुकका रूपमा नेपाललाई चिनाऊ वास्तुकलाको विधा भवन निर्माण समितामा सुधार प्रभावकारी प्रभावशाली भवनहरुको निर्माण हुने रक्षा वैदिक विधिद्वारा अझै नेपाल बन्न सक्ने सुशासन प्रशासन भावाती ध्यानीहरुद्वारा राज्य प्रशासनको अवधारणा धर्म र संस्कृति नेपालको विविधतालाई सम्मान गरी सौहार्द र वातावरण समेट्नु पर्ने र समेट्न सकिने 
तेस कारण आगामी पांच वर्ष में नमूना बनाएर देखा सकूं नेपाल प्राकृतिक र आध्यात्मिक दृष्टिकोण बा धनी मूलुक बने देखा यह छका सौ प्रतिशत है महर्षिजी ने उल्लेख कर दुई सौ प्रतिशत जीवनशैली बिता सकने विधि को अवलंबन करूं राम राज्य नेपाल विश्व को लगी अगड़ी बढ़ऊं ये बुदा राख्त भाई वहाँ लुन धन्यवाद मे आई टेक द अनर एंड प्लेजर टू इन्वाइट डॉक्टर जोन हेगलिंग फर योर क्लोजिंग रिमाक्स